So, yeah, we were supposed to aim it with servos. Oh, okay. And like, so they attach in there? Like that. So, based on the camera. So this year at Make Ohio, uh, we've had a lot more engagement with uh, the rest of the community. We've actually grown a lot, uh, going from last year around 125 to this year about 150 people. We, we pretty much had all the logistics planned out. It was a, a lot better this year. Uh, I, I think things went rather smooth. Really great that Bosch was able to bring hardware to provide for our students and even 3D printers. So my favorite project was the, uh, the coolest cooler. Not only is this going to serve as the power for everything, but we can also use it as a flashlight. Um, you can charge your phone off of it and actually restart your car if your battery dies. Um, so we you know, installed a nice little convenient pocket right there. If we could get this on the market, you would enjoy the coolest cooler just as much as we do. So, thank you. Uh, one of my favorite projects was the um, Guitar Hero uh, setup. So uh, the folks uh, that were on that project modified uh, a Guitar Hero uh, controller. Um, and they have this light-up suit that I haven't seen, but it looks really cool. He has this crazy helmet with spikes all over it. Uh, another really interesting project was one that was a uh, skittle sorted robot. I've never used my programming. Harris Corporation is excited to support Make Ohio and the OHIO program because of all the opportunities to work directly with the students. We have a chance to see students work with each other, solve problems, work on teams. It's better than an interview. I hope more corporations will sponsor these events going forward. More and more younger students are getting involved. There are some incredible freshman teams, also teams from around the state. So it is a very diverse experience. You know, after staying up for so long, a lot of the people would just kind of slap happy. You can't find the brain cells to think we, just, we were just laughing at just, you know, the most, um, you know, I, I couldn't even think of the word mundane. That's that's how, you know, tired I was. Joy <laughs> adaptation project. This has a lot of going on. I think the motivation for me to judge was mostly from building the event for a couple of years and really having a lot of say in the judging process and kind of what you know the goals of the event were. It was interesting to see it from that perspective. Judging has kind of evolved from like a chaotic state in the first makeathon to yeah. a very well run uh, collaboration with uh, you know the Data Adam Links here, and it's, yeah. it's just a, it was a lot of fun to come in and actually see the, the projects that were made. Yeah. I guess uh, so. We have. Uh, ultrasonic sensors that measure the distance to objects to the front, back, uh, left, and right. My name is Kyle Helfer. I'm Scott Kevin. I'm Emerson Cloud. And I'm Matthias Grion. So that we were going to try to like change the biking experience a little bit because we all commute to class and have problems with that, like with safety and identifying to other drivers and things what you're about to do. And so we wanted to solve that problem. So that's what I wanted to do. Like I'm not super great at like coding and everything. But when you have people who are really good at coding, we can combine, combine their experiences with our experiences to design. We can make something really cool in 24 hours. I feel like that's what Makethon is all about. Yeah. I'm a chemical engineering faculty member, and all that comes to mind if we had a bunch of chemical engineers doing this is it would end up something like Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to, to Dr. Vivek, who has really put an awful lot of effort, and does so every year and has really been pushing me and, and the Dean's office to figure out how we're going to support the maker culture here in the college. And between you and Dr. Nandi over at CSC and, and the wonderful group that is OHIO and all of the other the electronics club and all of you guys, it, you're forcing us to re really think in a different way how we can support a culture of making here in the college.